Hi Leo, this is your reading for the 22nd to the 28th of June. And we're going into Cancer, or we are in Cancer this week. So we are in new energy, a caring, loving and a passionate energy. Perhaps also sensuality and sexy energy, charming energy. So somebody might be charming you off your feet this week. Um, okay. It's lovely to have the Cancer energy in, and I enjoy all the energies. The variety is the spice of life, that's what I say. And welcome if you're new, and uh, thank you if, uh, and welcome if you're new, and please subscribe and like, and hit that bell on all, as I go live every week. I will do the spiel, um, my darlings, and my cyber angels I have changed that to the, the end of the video so if you want to listen to the information then hang on in there at the end of the video okay so welcome and thank you for all your likes and your faithful loyalty and following I appreciate it okay so here we go this is Monday Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and this is the Querent card or the all over energy. I leave that up to you. Remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. And we start off with you um, with discretion. So be discreet. Be discreet this, this week and also get things from a different perspective. In the traditional tarot card, this card will be called just, uh, not justice, judgment. Okay, so there is a new beginning or a second chance. And you've got number 20. So that means that you are in balance. And again, it becomes a number two. So the second chance does ring a bell with two. Okay, you've got most probably now you have a different perspective on things so that's why you're getting a second chance a new beginning that's the overall energy or that is what you are feeling or that's where you're at okay then we've got temperance you might be meeting or you might have a second chance with a new beginning, a reconciliation with a Sagittarius, as temperance also um, um, represents Sagittarius. That's a fire sign. Okay, they might not be in balance because you've got number 14 here, um, so they might be out of balance. So they are trying to get back into balance with you, perhaps they have to see that you have a different perspective on things and that you have changed or adjusted give them time though if it is to do with a re uh, reconciliation it, i think it's such a difficult word to get your tongue around it <laughs> and yeah i do hope for people that wish to re reconcile that it is happening but give it time because they have to see that you have a different perspective and that you have adjusted or it could be them that you are seeing in a different light you could have been going out with somebody and all of a sudden you you feel wow this is the person that I want for the rest of my life and you have changed your point of view so this is going you up to the next level perhaps awesome you have victory though because you've got the eight of swords you have victory that is what it means this could be in life uh, in general but it could also be with a judicial issue if you are with a ju in ju judicial uh, situation could be about a parking ticket it could be uh, about a divorce it could be about um, uh, an exam because uh, they might have thought you cheated and you said no that's not true so the victory the clarity and the honesty will come out it always does 
The swords stands for justice, clarity, honesty, uh, justice being done. Uh, also wisdom, wisdom study. So you might start a new study. Um, also stands for communication. So there might be a new communication. Uh, there might be a communication uh, mediation. So you're coming together too. Okay, two, two people coming together and communicating again, afresh, perhaps with uh, help from a person uh, in service, like a social worker, a marriage guidance counsellor, or a career officer, if you have a disagreement, for instance, with your employer. There might be an arbitrator, because an arbitrator works for a municipality or um, institution and that's what the swords represent like the judge or an advocate a lawyer a notary republic a social worker uh, a hairdresser anybody that cuts or is in does things in service in the judicial service or municipalities they could be your arbitrator between you and a Sagittarius Okay, there is a new beginning again being confirmed. Then we you have two aces. Wow, I didn't even realize this could be this judicial situation could be about money, like or an exam that somebody says that you've cheated and somebody comes forth or there is a a camera and everything is being taped and they rewatch the camera and they say no, you didn't cheat. So you have victory with your exam. It could be to do with money. Um, uh, an employer might, this is all hypothetically, okay, um, because you've got the Ace of Pentacles. The world is in your hands. There will be an offer made because this is the hand of the Divine. The Divine is stepping in, getting you justice, getting the clarity. You could be getting clarity about money. You could be getting clarity about a possible job offer or a house. Something will become clear to you. Okay, if you are in a judicial situation with regards money, you'll have victory. You will see what you, justice will be done. You'll get your money. That's, that. Um, you'll get what you need. What is just, right? Also, this could be a, a long-term investment that you thought went wrong, and the uh, the uh, the it will become clear to you what went wrong, or they were wrong, and you will get your ju uh, you will get the just uh, judgment and the justice. Okay, um, you will most probably go over it again to see it get a different perspective. So it will become clear to you what happened, and you're going. You might be going back to them and say, "No, look, this is the facts. This is this, and this is that." So it will become clear to you, and so this investment will bring its returns because pentacles stand for durability and long term. So the promises that were made will come to fruition. Okay. Then we have, or you might be meeting, you might be meeting a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarium, and again here, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Then somebody might be coming back from the past, and like I said, there might be a reconciliation, a second chance, and they will be bringing you a gift. Perhaps somebody might have taken something from you in the past. Um, and is bringing it back because you found out. Okay. Now this is the six of pentacles, and you know the real meaning, uh, the basic meaning of this card is, uh, if you are less fortunate, somebody f that is fortunate will give you a gift of money or a helping hand to get clarity, or give you a listening ear, which is an advocate or a lawyer or a judge. But to me, the ghost is also somebody that has passed, and he, they could be coming back 
with an that could be an idea that you have okay um, it, they could be coming back and uh, leave they might have left a letter or they might have uh, given you a sign okay something from the past could be coming back in this card that is what I'm seeing because a ghost is no longer here it is something from the past perhaps you might get an idea that um, that reminds you of something that happened in the past when you were less fortunate you uh, received a gift or a helping hand and if you are more fortunate you will be remembering your past it's vice versa this is giving and taking if you're fortunate you might be remembering in the past you were less fortunate and you were helped by somebody else or you might be less fortunate and you were fortunate and you're seeking help uh, or a gift or a loan so yes you are going to get help and you are going to get what you deserve as you have victory now we're going to start with this card the stalk and the stalk means there will be a 360 degrees turnaround in a situation or an issue okay this could be the lawyer with his suitcase or an advisor about an investment as you have the ace of pentacles the stalk also means um, new beginnings this could be a birth a birth of a child or a birth of a new project work okay you might be hearing of a birth if you are too mature okay it also means moving home perhaps there was something with a home because that's material and um, you lost or, or you applied for a mortgage let me put it that way that's much more physical and realistic you might have applied for a mortgage and they said no because your track record is wrong or it's not clear so the clarity will come you will get that mortgage that you applied for and you'll be moving into your new home so something will become clear and they have a different perspective and you are going to get that gift okay you're going to get that gift that could be the mortgage it could be something as simple as that because you've got some powerful energies here because the fire signs the Sagittarians they are a fire sign and they want something they're going to go for it they are not scared to ask help from anybody be it the divine be it legal advice or um, help from a judge or a jury <laughs> and it might cost money but it money makes money so I see also a return of goods something tangible and it's being given again to you so you will be the um, more fortunate one in this case love it the balance will be back because you've got number six and you've got 20 here so that is um, balance and you've got number 17 which is eight and eight is you are standing in your strength you can balance things and yourself definitely your emotions that you are thinking clearly okay L again this card is celebrations you might be invited to gatherings this could be birthdays this could be a wedding this could be an engagement this could be a presentation or meetings a powwow with people in in court or legalities you might be signing contracts for this house okay and there might be a reunion a reunion second chance again with 
a person you had a partnership with, be it in love or at work. It could be a woman and I think it could be also a reconciliation with a woman if you're a man. Or it could be if you're a woman it could also be a reconciliation with a nurturing man okay because the lady the the woman stands for that you might meet a woman or you might have legalities with a woman it, she might be assisting you in getting your victory as it's lying above the ace of swords if you're not meeting up with a woman or if a woman is not significant this week for you then you might be actually nurturing and taking care of yourself okay and I think you are taking care of yourself to maintain yourself to stay in balance for these new starts now you've got number 32 and that is the moon you have learned from the past definitely and you can now see clearly because this is clarity what a person how a person should be and whether they're true or not you can read people much better and especially if people are lying to you this card is so magic for me I love this it just reminds me of Pinocchio and when Pinocchio lied his nose grew and those people that are lying to you or because the moon has a dark side okay and in his, this deck he's wearing a, a mask they're not true they're not showing the true selves you can see when somebody's fidgety or nervous or when they're fibbing and they're scared because you're in your power where's the eight here you are in your power and your balance and you can see straight through them and they are nervous because they know they are hanging on by their nails because something is being illuminated here because the moon sh has shows light on your path to the northern note you're on the right path you're on the path of clarity and justice and you are in the spotlight and you're getting victory you're getting a second chance the moon also represents Pisces so there might be a water sign around you that might not be really who they pro uh, project to be or say they are so be aware listen to your gut feelings and new ideas listen to the red flags when they are warning you red flags don't have to be negative but the, it is just an alarm signal okay now we're going to the card of the god the queen of the moon oracle and what did I say you are in your power number eight you are balanced you've got an other perspective and you're not scared to ask for help even if it has to be legalities or a social worker or whatever and the pa you have the power you have the power to get what you want like the fire signs they take action and so have you and this is card 16 so 7 7 is luck you are 6 7 8 you're going upwards and forwards beautiful card step into your true power shine brightly though do not hide who and what you are so don't wear a mask okay the time is right to attract big things for yourself success and money ancestral energy is important okay people from the past ancestral energy is important open your mind also listen to new ideas like I said 
to larger possible possibilities big magic can be wrought so sometimes you might not um, wrought means difficult okay and that will bring you out of balance when you're stepping in from the old into the new you again a second chance don't let it bring you down now you've got the postcard from heaven or spirit rather you are loved okay you are loved dearest you dearest Leo we are sending you waves of love and joy as we watch you reap the rewards of your tenacity and faith we know how long it has taken you to reach some of your goals and that you have had disappointments along the way right now we suggest you take a deep breath and fill yourself up with gratitude and tune into the vibration of well-being temporary conditions may be trying to hypnotize you into seeing something else as your reality again the mask be your true self and stay your true self okay be open look at things from a different perspective think before you act but we know that happy rewards are on their way to you even now change is the only const constant so be open to see it you will achieve your dreams and more we promise but more important your happiness and happy rewards will be gathered up in the small moments the gentle breezes the soft kisses and the quiet commitments your happiest moments will be on the journey itself not in arri arriving at any destination it's what you learn on your journey of life you are surrounded by so much love and care can you feel us and those are the ghosts from the past like I said there might be somebody that's gone to the other realm giving you signs like new th ideas new thoughts okay it might be somebody else that's giving you a message that is wearing a mask and that knew something and they're saying da 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 and you think oh yes that is what my grandma used to say or my grandfather or my mother or my father or my brother or my sister <coughs> sorry and from the shaman mystical shaman dick you have the sorry this card Bach, uh, Pachamama I, I can't pronounce that sorry and it's number 40 so there you go that will become a number four so that is uh, proper foundations something new will begin and it will be new sound f foundations but pa the Pasha Mama represents unconditional love that the earth has for all her children including the stones the plants the animals and humans she's the goddess of earth like the queen of pentacles like the empress also known as Gaia who pervades all creation in our planet thanks to Pachach Pach, Pach, Pacha Mama uh, <coughs> our timeless soul can be experienced life in a biological body the joy and pain we taste 
during our brief time on Earth are inv inv invitations to discover the boundless love of Pacha Mama. So she will invite you, okay? She's inviting you. You are a child of the Earth. Now is the time to eat right, love right, and be joyous. Regardless of circumstances, you may find yourself in. Be grateful for your life, your body, and all that nourishes you. Pachamama invites you to relish each breath, embrace your joy and your pain equally, and discover love through both. Let Pachamama know how much you appreciate all her blessings with an act of service such as planting a tree, helping safe and endangered species, or protect the ocean. So come into action. Plant a couple of plants in your garden. It doesn't have to be a tree. You can also plant an idea. Okay, or give a donation <coughs> to the less fortunate. I think this is a magical reading. I think the readings are always so magical. I love the cards. I hope you did too. And if you have enjoyed it, then please give me the thumbs up. And if you are new, please subscribe and hit the bell on all. Then you'll be notified when I go live. I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday because I've had a lot of um, uh, notifications uh, of people, viewers, my cyber angels and they're saying we I'm not getting notified. I put I always notify also on Facebook so become a member on my Facebook page and so that you can be notified by Facebook if not by YouTube. I will also put it into the community. So if you n want to join on a Monday and Wednesday or on a Friday, I will have put a notification on what time I'm going live that day. Every, every, every day that I go live, it will be a new notification. So keep an eye on the notifications in the community or on Instagram. So take care and I hope you have enjoyed this remember this is general reading if it doesn't resonate then go to your moon sign or your rising sign and you can also um, click uh, you can find the information below this video in the description box or click on that white circle with the eye on in the right top hand corner that will take you to the um, website charliesangeltarot.com and there you can see updates and notifications and the video on the competition that is being held. You can win the Shadowlands, a brand new deck um, with compliments from uh, Shiva um, and the Red Fe uh, Feather Publishers. Um, and uh, the second place is the Vice Versa deck if it is not chosen by the champion or um, a third place, a free reading for 20 minutes. I hope to see you back and take care and please share and like. Love you all. Have a beautiful week and stay safe.